everyone to another video of Body's Passive Income. I'm Dominic Badiato and this is your Friday Q&A. Let me just start with, I only got a couple questions, so I'm a little disappointed. If you guys don't like this segment, let me know. I still, to this day, think this is the most valuable segment because I don't do one-on-ones. Besides my SEO thing through Fiverr, this is your best way to ask me questions or to get answers, and I don't think anybody else is doing this, so take advantage of it. Uh, from Christy. Uh, I have made over 20 sales on Etsy, however, I only have 7 reviews, all being 5 stars. Any advice on how to get reviews? I believe somebody actually replied to that comment, and I agree. You can message them and say, Hi, I see your package was delivered. I just wanted to make sure um, everything's good. If you can, please leave me a review. I'll greatly appreciate it. So if you just message people, I think there's automation software out there that you can use to do that. But if you just message somebody, that's the best way. Seven reviews out of 20 sales is actually pretty good because like the Amazon is about 5% of your sales will actually get reviews. So that's actually pretty good. Um, but that's my take, and that's what I currently do. From A, hi, I've been in tier 10 for a couple months. I, however, my first shirt started selling seven sales in the last three days good and i'm very excited about uh, by the way once you get the ball rolling you get that one sale that's why i recommend maybe buying one of your shirts because you get a bsr and now all of a sudden you're on page one and then you it starts building momentum i'm very excited about this and uh, as i will likely tear out i'm currently priced at 1307 which i understand is contrary to your 1370 uh to cover returns but i don't mind paying a little out of pocket for more sales you will not get more sales with 1307 to 1395 no one's no one cares about the difference unless it's the exact same possible design 1395 people uh my question is does it make sense to keep the price at 1307 1395 and hopefully ride the potential sales until i can tear up to a hundred uh so if it's currently selling i would put it 1395 maybe till you get 10 sales but if it's that same if it's one design getting seven sales i would probably raise it to 1695 and see according to my vid uh, pricing video and, and see if it sells but since you're so close to tier 10 maybe either keep it put it 1395 and if you're feeling risky then 1695 but that's just my two cents it's really just to get you out of tier 10 tier, uh, tier 10 words from reza what products do you usually put a design on to start with aside from standard shirt so me because i'm now tier 2000 really should be much higher but you know amazon merch and their tier system uh i put it on pretty much uh i always start with just shirts and if it's something that's starting to sell or at least gets one sell i put it on everything every single thing pop sockets phone cases pillows i put on everything that's just me um or if it's like a really good uh, like design that you spent money on i would put it on everything as well if you're looking just for one other thing obviously in the winter long sleeve shirts hoodies do very well uh, pop sockets are very good like i said you guys need to be doing pop sockets i can sell a design i can have a design that's very competitive in shirts and i won't get no sales but then i put that design on a pop socket and i get a ton of sales and because nobody else is doing it so little pro pro tip uh, how many more? Oh, I only got one four questions. Ah, oh, man, it's disappointing. Uh, from Victor, hi, great video. Do you design any of the trends and load them onto your merch account? So on the top trends, yes. I will usually mention when I say, oh, I think this is going to be a good trend, or I think this is good, or this is good but their SEO is bad, what I'll do is I'll do something similar and I'll do better SEO. It's typically what I will do. So there's probably out of the top trends one or two that I usually end up picking and I, I think is pretty good and, but like I said I usually mention it in the video that hey this is pretty good um, you guys can probably do a better job and that's usually the ones that I will end up doing uh, in the top trends I had a kind of a different style of doing it so if you haven't watched the video check it out and let me know what style you prefer and that will wrap up this very short video so if you have any questions let me know I still don't know what to do for Monday video so if you have any ideas for Monday video let me know and like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys on Monday. Have a safe weekend.